Greetings, people of the world! Matthew Mac with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of The Legend of Dragoon. So, last time we had a bit of a snag occur. Because we were warned about some bandits that were terrorizing the people of Fletz, and turns out, coming here to this particular area on the road to Danau, we actually engaged these bandits who then proceeded to steal away Dart's Dragoon Spirit. Because, yeah, if you see at the lower left hand corner of your screen, there's no red Dragoon Spirit there. It was stolen by these bandits, and so now we have to go get it back. So, hopefully, we will be able to do so sooner rather than later, I hope. But, yeah, it kind of puts you in a situation of don't always be so dependent on using your Dragoon abilities. Um, so I want to start by seeing what happens when you take this path, because obviously it's leading up here, and, yeah, I was right, treasure chests. And I can see another one off on the horizon as we get a recovery ball. What does a recovery ball do? Is it a regular item, or is it something that... Okay, it, it seems to be a regular item, or it could be an accessory. Recovery ball... Recovery ball, recovery ball. Okay, what the? Where, where the heck is this recovery ball? Oh, it generates a recovery. Oh, it's another one of these things. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. It's another one of those weird items. Okay, so now. Yeah, the Sunny's doing a good job of giving you lots of paths to take. In fact, I'm gonna take a whip. Yeah, I'm gonna take a. Yeah, I was hesitant to guess, like, those must be stairs or something. Did they weave around anywhere? No, it's. Is this just a dead end? It is just a dead end. Well, that's stupid. Okay, yeah, it's meant to throw you off, and that you're supposed to take this path over here on the left to get the access to that treasure chest. So yeah, it's not the only the bandits that are tricky around here, it's also the way that this map is designed. That's also really tricky. Very well. And we shall run to the horizon in order to get that other treasure chest, but an enemy encounter must come first. So, what are we going to be engaging? What do we have to put up with? A scorpion. And it looks like it's missing a claw, actually. <laughs> Like, like, Scorpion, what are you doing with just one claw? I, I, I've never seen that before in a video game. That That's very unique to me. Alright. Scissor hands! <laughs> hey, Johnny Depp, I think you found, like, one of your crazy fans. <laughs> and still not getting this special abilities down. Well, Albert's maxed out, though. And you know what? Let's just go have and go Dragoon and see if we can get his him up higher in that regard. Cause yeah, I haven't really used regular Dragoon additions for a while. It's it's been quite a while since I've actually done that. Let's go ahead and attack the scissor hands, cause yeah, it does seem to have quite a lot of each of HP. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's been so long since I've used them, my timing now on these is thrown off completely. And it's just the kill! <laughs> yeah, who needs a full attack on the Dragoon Editions? I sure don't. <laughs> wow! Ah, out of left field and that ball is gone. Alright, let's get the treasure chests, please. 50 gold. Well, it's good to know that the bandits haven't stolen everything around here. In fact, maybe that was all that they had. Alright, so... Yeah, it looks like we are on the correct side. We are... Off to Donau, the flower city. But it doesn't look very... Peaceful and happy. At least not from the photo, anyway. So what do we find when we get there? Oh, wow. Welcome to Donau, the Flower City! Yeah, this is like paradise for horticult horticulturalists. Thank you. 
Is something wrong? You don't look like bandits. Your clothes are so filthy at first I thought you might be. Well, we've been on quite an adventure, ma'am. We really are covered in dust. It's natural the girl would be mistaken. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? Don't stare at me like that! What do you mean? It's not that bad. Oh, I see. We don't have time for fooling around like that! Indeed. Are you jealous? <laughs> <coughs> I am just concerned about the dragon spirit! Well, we all are, believe me. Cutscene? Oh, in a manner of speaking. Oh, st oh, the bandits are on the prowl here. What are you going to do? We are deciding now! Evil laughter. As I expected, you are one of the sacred sisters. Sis? That's a woman? You're one of the sacred sisters of Milsasau, aren't ya? You have such a pretty face, don't you? Great sailing her will make us rich! Uh, nah, they're apparently also engaged in the slave trade, too. Don't make a noise and we won't harm you! S somebody help! Oh, gentlemen over there, please! Oh yeah, I think we found Lloyd. But I don't think Lloyd's gonna do anything. Just go away, or you'll, you'll be sorry! Oh, no, he's getting hit out. <laughs> I guess he is. Well, at least we found him. Please continue. If you don't mind dying. Yeah, and he he'll prove it too. <laughs> you are the one to die! Oh, no. That's not happening. What did you do? <laughs> what he does best, apparently. Shall I continue? The answer is no. Oh, please wait! I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for helping me! It's nothing. Oh, oh please, let me at least have your name. It's Lloyd. My name is Wink. I am a sacred sister of Nilsa Sao. Wink? <laughs> oh, wow. Wink Martindale, when did you get a sex change? Yeah, her hero, but everyone else's enemy. Yeah, what's up with you, Lloyd? You kill dragoons and you rescue damsels in distress. What's your what's your deal? And I don't think we're gonna engage the bandits at this time, no way, however, but I'm gonna try and get around them because if I do accidentally touch them, I could have more stuff stolen from me and I do not want that to happen. We'll stay the night, thank you. You know, let's do our best to stay away from the bandits so that a repeat of previous episode does not occur. Alright, save point, yes, thank you. We'll much be obliged to take save point at this time, knowing that we are in a situation that I was worried could happen and now actually has. Alright, onward. So I'm guessing there's a particular person that we have to speak to or a particular place that we have to end up going. Who knows, maybe there's an item shop or a weapon shop somewhere. But in a city like Danau, I don't know if that's even a legitimate statement. Oh, well, there is a shop in here. What is your... Oh, this looks like it could be a weapons shop that's being robbed. Fine, we'll let you, but only today. Let's go. 
Okay, I guess the bandits are running away, which means there may not be anything left. No, we can buy. Good. Hopefully you have a lot of good stuff I can use. No, you only have stuff for ladies. Well, aren't you a uh, stick in the mud? Well, let's buy silver vests for both Shauna and Rose. And both can be equipped with tiaras. And I will definitely take that, especially since Miss Rose is, has always been in dire need of increase on defense. Increases ma hit of magical attacks by 10%. Silver Vest has no spe other special abilities. Okay. Um, let's, let's start talking around. Oh, everything in one place. Alright. Well, let's see. Um, let's see if there's anything that I absolutely need to sell off. Um, not getting rid of the sachet or the sing or the sig stone. Um, and you can't use. I don't know if you can. Maybe you can use the recovery item, the recovery ball in battle. But I'm I'm guessing because it's because based on the random number generator, I don't know that. If I use it in battle, if I can, um, will I actually be able to get something that I require, or will it end up being a total dud? That, that's my concern. Well, you know what? Since there's nothing really here that I can s use at this point, let's go ahead and start selling. Um, and you know what? Since, um... I'm, I'm guessing we're out of an area where we're not so worried about the use of what I've been using before, because, yeah, the Heat Blade, of course, is Fire Elemental, so I want to equip that again, but I'm going to hold on to the Bastard Sword for now. Because, yeah, who knows how many more fire-based enemies we're going to have to put up with. Um, who are you? You are warriors, aren't you? Have you heard the name Sister Wink? Yeah, we just, we just introduced that name. But that's not you, obviously. Alright, what's in here? Um, okay. Oh, it's another one of these places. It's another clinic, as it were. Well, we don't need to be treated for any status afflictions, so we're good. Um, I am looking for the person who saved the life of Sister Wink. Well, Good luck trying to find him. At, at least we know he was here. But his intentions are still something of a mystery. Let's go to the left. And anything of particular interest over here? Well, it seems like... Oh no, we can keep going up here. We can keep going up here, and up here, and hopefully in here. And is there anything we can find that is of use in here? Or anyone in particular we can speak to that's important. The mayor is busy and you cannot meet him right now. I'm sorry, but please come back another time. Okay, so we have to do a series of steps and speak to specific people in order to have the get an audience with the mayor. Very well. What about you? Can you help us? This is the way to the mayor's house. I won't let any suspicious people pass through here. Why does it look like you're wearing a dress? <laughs> I would like to go over there, but there's a scary person there. Is this scary person Lloyd? Let's go find out. Um, what about you guys? I love the sea. Don't you think so, huh? I guess I do. I've been to both the Pacific and Atlantic coast before, so... Oh, little girl, can I speak with you? It's not only a sea dragon that has appeared in Elisa Bay! Sea dragon? And that's all you have to tell us? Anything further? Anything other... of other significance? Um, can I cast through here? No. And I don't think I ever spoke with the guard down at the bottom. 
We cannot put the ship out to sea. Since the huge sea dragon appeared, we've had to put the ship on land. Yeah, so that it doesn't get destroyed. And disrupts all commerce. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to keep going into different doors, different places, to see if we can speak with the right people. Barkeep, do you know anything? They have been here for days. Oh, the thieves. Although they say bars and bombs are inseparable, I wish it were only true in books. What should I do? Well, what if I go ahead and talk to him? What is Brother Garrick thinking about? <laughs> I don't know, what is he thinking about? Brother Garrick is too soft, he even tried to come a crying brat. <laughs> Where is he then? Just the rumor about the phantom ship is scary enough, but now we have a sea dragon making a mess. I cannot put my ship out to sea. And is everything at to end with a hiccup? Ma'am? It's awful. Although it's good money, I want to quit. Eh. <laughs> yeah, kind of... Yeah, there are probably jobs out there where you might be making good money, but you feel absolutely miserable. Well... I don't know what should you do. I don't know why, but that old bag is wandering around over there. Step aside, thief. Um, step aside, old lady. <laughs> oh boy, I feel I feel terrible. And yeah, am I gonna be stuck here for a while? It's like, damn it. Now come on, come on, old lady. I need you to move so that. Oh, is that as far as you go? Do not tell me I am trapped. Yeah, thank you. Now, what the heck was that all about? Damn. Alright, I guess... If it comes down to it, I may be forced to talk to that thief. Oh, here we go. Oh, why? Where did you go, Lin? We are having a wedding soon. It is impossible to have a talk with the Gerricks. Oh, oh, is this... Oh, your groom is apparently a thief? Okay. And yeah, I have. I do actually know men who are named Lin. Yeah, I've, I've actually done volunteer work with a man named Lin, and I've actually had a... worked, um, been to an engagement with a politician, a male politician whose name was Lin. So it's not that far-fetched. Who are you? Uh, don't worry, we are not bandits. Really? Really, really. <laughs> there is something wrong, isn't there? We might be able to be of some help. Tell us. Okay. It all started this morning. What happened? Oh, I see a letter on the bed. When I finished my errands and came home, Lynn was gone. In his letter, it says he is going to persuade the gang to pull themselves out of the now. I'm supposed to wait for him at home. Yeah, and obviously he's going to fail spectacularly. Yeah, because one man alone isn't going to get the job done. I have an idea. If I show this letter to the mayor, he might do something to help. The mayor is Lin's father. So that's why he won't give us an audience. I see. Let's bring this to the mayor. You have to wait for Lin here. Oh, thank you. Acquired the letter from Lin. Alright. So let's see what father is thinking about uh, with this letter from his son. So, back to the mayor's place. <gasps> yeah, and this time you are going to talk to me. Okay, in the door. Oops, oops, wrong direction. Crap, back in, back in. And that's not how it's supposed to work. Alright, over here. 
You cannot meet the mayor because he is busy. I'm sorry, but please come back some other time. Oh, I have a letter that will tell you different. Can you take a look at this letter? And end of music. This is... And change it to something more suspenseful. Yeah, shock in his face. But please come in! Mayor, a horrible thing has happened. It's about Mr. Lin. Oh, Mayor, you're not gonna like this. Yeah, double exclamation mark. What kind of man would venture to face the Garrett gang by himself? I didn't know Mr. Lin was that consumed with... It was my fault for not realizing it. I bet Miss Kate is very stressed. You must go as the mayor. I don't want you to be involved in this. We are already involved. The gang took something very important away from me. Where do they come from? They are from the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, but we don't know anything about them other than, the f other than that. That place is very dangerous. They say nobody can come back once they enter the valley. Butler, don't say that! Lin went there! Now we have to gather the people of Donau and form a rescue team. Let us do it. And then what will happen to the city? The gang might take over the city. Yeah, and overrun it. Let us. Let us do it. You were planning to go anyway, weren't you? Oh, it is encouraging to hear that warriors like you are going. Now I can face those punks in our city with courage. So, yeah, now that we can get a new location. Yeah, I was mentioning before in the pre a couple of episodes ago that my brother would spend hours upon hours of grinding in the, in the same spot here in this game. Oh. How dare you touch my butt? Oh. <laughs> yeah, awkward. Awkward. Don't be silly, why would I dare touch the butt of a kid like you? Uh, yeah, this is already out of hand. Who are we dealing with? A thief or someone else? <laughs> I could forgive you if you'd admit that I am too sexy to ignore and apologize! Uh, is this kid dreaming or what? I can't stand it anymore! Oh, yeah, we got some Amazonian chick here. You don't, you know, you don't know who we are. I know. You think you can get away with it. Let me see. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Stan, you'll pay for this. I won't be paying you! Doesn't she have a better way to say goodbye? Are you one of the Garrett gang? Do you want me to smash you too? <laughs> yeah, I don't- put it away, put it away! The platinum hair, the same as Lloyd! Yeah, it's not Lloyd. The rest is different. Yeah, that's quite the mat club you carry. Are oh, you maybe one of my groupies? Hmm, don't seem like it though. You guys are some strange group of people. It kind of does seem that way, doesn't it? What's your name? Oh, she's asking at me. It's Dot. Mine's Meru. I'm the best dancer in now. And apparently an impressively skilled fighter too. We don't have time for playing with a kid. Yeah, careful what you say that. I agree, we can't waste any time if we are going to help Lin. Sorry, but we got to get going. 
You said Lin, then you guys are going to rescue Lin. How did you find out about that? Eavesdropping? Yeah. Cause I... But people in the city are all chickens, right? So I was gonna make a raid on the hideout. So you coming along? Then those bastards gave me a hard time. I guess they didn't take me seriously cause I'm alone. Perhaps. But you certainly fought hard. You know what? I'm gonna go with you guys. Hey, you don't need to make such a face. <laughs> Just leave her alone. Let's go. Hold on. Don't you guys know where the hideout is? It's somewhere in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, isn't it? How naive. You make it sound easy. But you cannot go through such a mel of a hess kind of place. You mean a hell of a mess? Yeah. Without a person like me who's totally knowledgeable and totally pretty! <laughs> Certainly enthusiastic too. Besides, you need the permission of the king just to enter the valley. Don't you know that? That we did not know. What are we going to do, Dot? This girl is serious. But not seriously dressed. Let's just take her along. Yeah, you obviously know. Oh well, you can come. Yeah, because I think she's a dragoon also. We can trust her intentions to rescue Lin. Besides, we don't know the place. We might need a guide. Right, he's completely right. Now let's go, beautiful dancer Meru. And friends, form a posse for dealing with the Gary Gang! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have fun with you, aren't you, we? So yeah, let's take a look at the stats on Miss Meru. Um, replace. She only comes at 17. So, you know what? Since we have the opportunity to do so, I'm actually gonna make it a point to swap out... Because we haven't shown yet off Hashel yet, and Meru hasn't had a chance to make her debut. So let's give these two... I'm gonna give... gonna stick around for... Well, we'll go and give these guys a chance to show off their skills in the next episode. Besides, we have to go back to Flets anyway. So we'll take care of that. So, since we're going to... Since we know what we have to do next, I'm gonna go ahead and call it off. I guess on the way back we'll show off going through the Barons again because I want to see Hashel as the Dragoon and at least give Meru a chance to shine. So we'll do all that in the next episode. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this blind let's play of the Legend of Dragoon. And when I join you again, we will go back through the Barons en route back to Flets in order to get the King's permission to go to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Yeah, that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? So, until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Navarro Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.